BBC podcast. It's your boy Tunchi right here. My boy JP. It's after our show, we got lovely lady in the house. Thank you. <laughs> With the emotional support. With the emotional support. For next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go ahead and hand the mic over to her. Let her introduce herself. My name is Antoinette. I'm, or you can call me Tony. I'm from Bombay Hooligans. And this is my friend Brittany. The camera, she didn't want to be on camera, but she's right here. We'll see if we can get a picture for her later. Later. Mm -hmm. So, your age and your dating status. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh. So my age, I'm 34. My dating status right now, I'm single, but I'm filling things out. Yeah. Is it with the private? I mean, with the previous ex, or is it somebody? Oh no, no, no. So I've, I've, I've got done with him. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just. I'm all about business right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. More on the term right now. You say uh, building yourself back up, yes. working on you type of thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so how's your schedule look like throughout the week? Like, is there any time? Do you even would you make time for a man right now, or you just like focus just on my own work? So a man has to understand. Like, I have three jobs. So I work Monday through Friday, and I have like a, you know, medical job, and then I do bartending on the side. Okay. Um, we also do promotions. So like event promotions, and it depends because. Right now, we're doing something on the um, 14th, on October 14th, and it, it's just something that we're that we're starting out at. Um, but yeah, ever ever since my last uh, relationship, I've thrown myself into work and just been working on every avenue to get myself like above and beyond. So, would you be willing to make time for the right guy? It depends. So, so if, if we write that down, like, what would be three things to make a man qualify for you to break your time right now? They can't be clingy. I'm an Aquarius. Me too. <laughs> hey, high five. That's right. So I'm an Aquarius. Um, like, I like attention, but I don't. Like, you got to give me my space to do me. Define that. What's attention and not attention? So they, so the, the type of person that I'm looking at, they got to understand that I have a busy lifestyle. I don't like somebody that's clingy. I like somebody that will text me and say, hey, how's your day going? Check on me from time to time, but not expect me. You know, because they got to understand my schedule. I have I have a lot of things I got to do, and I'm, I have a lot of things that I'm trying to accomplish. So if somebody gets upset that I don't have time for them, boo-hoo, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> so how does it work? If it was the other way around, like, and you needed, like, you wanted the time and attention when he has a day off, like, you willing to compromise, or how does that work? Of course. So, in my in my mind, a perfect relationship is a person doesn't have to, like, uh, subtract from themselves, right? Mm -hmm. They can be who they are. They can have their person have time as an individual and add to each other. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I understand if... I'm with a dude that has a lifestyle where he's, like, busy all the time. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. So when you make time for me, make time for me. But, it, you know what I mean? It's just like. Don't you think most women say that? And then when they don't get their time is when they complain? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes and no. Uh -oh. um, it depends. Because some women are insecure mm -hmm. and need somebody on their ass all the time. Is that because you think that they want to know what the other person is doing all the time? Like, it ain't such, such about them. It's about if that person's a guy's always getting a hold of me, I know I have all his attention. He has that time for another girl. Right. Okay. So I, I think, like, if a man shows a woman that um, they're about business and not about bullshit, a girl will can fall back into her feminine energy mm. and say, okay, I see what this man is doing. I see what this man is going to do and have, have plans for me. And preserve herself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So how would you say right now, being that, like, you make your own money, like, most women that make their own money, they probably have, like, a little bit of masculine traits, you know, you have to be a boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you got to be aggressive. Traits. Here I mean, we go. Yeah. You got to be, you got to be. a boss chick. I yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be aggressive in your workplace and, you know what I'm saying, to get to the top and the people to be under you and, and run things. Mm -hmm. 
how would you do you turn that off when you get home? Are you a submissive woman or do you are so, you like a equality type of woman? I'm submissive. If somebody shows me that they can lead. Okay. Mm-hmm. Straight up. So I hate when guys be like, Oh, I could do this, da 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 and then, and they, then can't do shit. they can't do shit. I'm like, mm, no. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean? Okay. It's I mean, this is what I got. When you got a woman that has her own money that can make her own shit and a guy that's just bullshitting, it's kinda like, Well, oh, that's disrespectful for even coming at me like that, you yeah. know what I mean? Like you better add to or don't even bother. So how does a man add value to you? That's a hard point right now because I'm like, right now I'm at a point where it doesn't even phase me. Like I gotta see your work ethic. I but gotta is see. Is that is that because like you're you're numb from what you've been through? Um, I would say yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, because I've had a my past history on guys have not been good. Everybody has been like, oh, I'll protect you. Oh, I'll do this. And, I mean, I come from the streets. I come from a good home, but mm-hmm. I've been through the mud. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So when a guy says something that he's going to do and he don't do it, I'm like. Yeah, I would think that that's a bad leader. He just keep his word. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, rude. Yeah. It's, it's just like either you got to let me go and sit the fuck down mm-hmm. and let somebody else that's going to actually do it for me come through. You know, mm-hmm. don't sit there and not not be able to provide for a woman that will give you, you know, everything. Okay. You know? So would you say for our lady viewers, like, how would you, somebody fresh 18, thinking that they're... Hold fine. Up. You said 18? Yeah, but I'm just talking about, like, just, just women, <laughs> like, anywhere between, like, 18, 18 and 25. 18. Like, like, how could you recommend to those girls to pick the right guy? Like, you said you, you have a bad your little history of going through your bumps and... Bumps in a row. So if you could turn back the time, what would you do? You know better now through now. the experience. Mm. What, like, what would you recommend on how to on how to pick a guy? Three three red flags to just not ignore. So first off, I I always so now I think that you should date around. Date around until you see who's so you mean best. spending time with them date around, or do you mean like talking sleeping with different guys? No, 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 no. So it doesn't even, it's not necessarily sleeping with somebody, but just seeing people's patterns. You know, I, I, I mean, I have, I'm a lover. You know what I mean? I love people. I'm a, I'm a social butterfly. I like to be around people, but I also like my me time. So that's the thing. It's like, you have to find somebody that's compatible for you. Mm-hmm. To really lock it down. So my my previous history mm. is, you know, a guy says something, I'm like, okay, yeah, I believe it. And then once I get in it, I'm like, that's not what he's about. Yeah. And then I feel like I'm doing more. And I'm like, damn, I'm up with a bitch. Like, this is not about the business. 